My name is Steve Woodman, grandson of Chubby Woodman, who started the business in 1914. Now it all started, uh, well actually before even my grandfather uh, moved to Essex. He uh, lived, in, lived in Hamilton with his parents, his father died young, and his mom moved to, moved to Essex uh, shortly after that. And that's how my grandfather came, uh, came to Essex. But as he was going to school, uh, he completed third grade and he decided to, to quit school, to start making some money. And he went to his uncle's farm to uh, actually be a stable boy. And that was in, in Wenham. And so he worked there at 10 years old uh, for seven years. And uh, he got to know uh, people from Beverly Farms and Wenham and Hamilton and uh, became a very good writer and people knew who he was. But after seven years, he came back to Essex and started uh, working, uh, working to make money and then he started clamming and uh, the history goes with the clamming and, and, and starting the business in, in 1914. Then in 1916, uh, with uh, making potato chips, he started making fry clams and that's the history of uh, how the fry clam started. So the business was going, going well during, during the summer. Uh, it, it was tough and at the winter, there was basically no business around. So they were always trying to find something, something to do. Uh, depression came and it got a little harder. The 30s came around, there was a little bit of activity happening. And so my grandfather decided to uh, actually buy the uh, restaurant across the street, which fell into hard times. So he secured a loan for $3,000. Uh, started getting the restaurant uh, back together and get ready to, to open and the bank decided that it didn't want to have that money out and so it called the loan. So here's my grandfather, grandmother uh, figuring what can they do, they don't have $3,000, they're going to lose the restaurant and, and probably some other personal uh, money that they had put in and they couldn't figure out what to do so they took a ride, they took a ride down to Cape Cod saw people uh, down there clamming, uh, sea clamming and chucking and, and figured out how much uh, they were paying for the uh, bushels of sea clams, what they could get shucking them and, and he knew what they were paying for up here to uh, JC Blood up in Lynn and a few other people were buying uh, sea clams at. So he figured he could make some money doing that. So he bought as many clams as he could, he brought them up to Lynn to JC Blood, got there at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, got the night watchman says I've got some sea clams here that need refrigerating and they ended up calling uh, Mr. Blood and and uh, tell him Chubby Woodman was here and, and he wanted to sell him some sea clams. They negotiated a price he says I'll buy all you, that you can uh, get me at that price and so he went down the Cape and the whole family went down there they rented a place and he started operating a sea clam in shucking house uh, 24 hours a day just uh, shifts going back and forth, driving them back, back and forth up, up to Lynn and, and uh, selling them. Well, in that month, they made that $3,000 to pay off the loan. And what he did is took, his, uh, took the $3,000, got them all in $1 bills, put them in a pillow sack, burst it into a, uh, a meeting that the president was, was having uh, because uh, the president told him, he said, Chubby, I'm going to own that restaurant. And broke up the meeting, threw the pillowcase on the table, and he says, there's your money. I'll never do business again with this, this bank, and he left. So that was, uh, that was a story of how he stayed in business uh, and, and during some hard times.